Now, over the centuries, it's played host to lords and ladies, but for the first time in more than 70 years, members of the public have the chance to stay, eat and party in one of Ayrshire's most historic landmarks. Rowallan Castle near Kermarnock dates back to the 12th century. Now it's making history as the first property to move from the care of historic environment Scotland back to the private sector. Bruce Mackenzie met the man behind the project. Mungo Muir redesigned the castle about 1567. After decades as a faded monument to the ancient, Rowallan Castle is ready to welcome visitors once more. It's the jewel in the crown really. It sits right in the middle of the estate and uh, nothing was being done with it. So we've decided, you know, we'd like to renovate it and uh, open it up to the public. With centuries of hidden building work, sensitive renovation has been important. I mean, we work very closely with Historic Scotland. I mean, they've been very good actually in, in giving us guidance of what we can and couldn't do to provide a, a living space and give it modern facilities such as bathrooms because you wouldn't have had a bathroom in those days you'd have, you'd have a, a jug of water this project is significant because it's the first time a place held by historic environment scotland has returned to private ownership after a long legal fight works finally got underway here three years ago it's been a fantastic process you know it's from seeing it from day one when it was just an empty shell to, to now sitting living in it being able to stay in, and seeing the finishes it's been quite a it's an interesting process it's been, been very exciting the Campbells returned to Rowallan in 1989, more than 200 years after their ancestors had lost it in a horse racing debt. But Neil hopes this project proves to those in charge of historic buildings that private renovation needn't be a gamble. Before, I think there was a, a view that you know we had to preserve everything and keep everything in aspect. And they did a terrific job. But I think reality is now set in and money isn't the easiest thing to come by. So I think they're now concentrating on the bigger revenue centres and possibly other buildings that can come back to some kind of use or preservation out with their organisation they're looking to. And I think that's probably a wake-up call. Uh, it's just a time, time, sign of the times we live in. Aside from open days, a stay in this ancient pile is available via a well-known accommodation website. Yet another way they're mixing the old and the new here. Bruce McKenzie, STV News in Ayrshire. Oh, it looks incredible.